Good afternoon, this is Todd Colvin coming to you from the floor of the CME Group. We are talking rates and those 10-year note yields. A little higher today, but not a huge move. Obviously, the, the curve's seen some, some pretty drastic moves and yields have rallied very strongly over the last several weeks. We did get to the 290 level uh, just above it, and that seems to be where we ran out of gas. Still searching for that 3% print. We have not gotten it yet, but it is out there and it will be coming soon. I, I think that right now the way the market is set up is that it needs to get there at least before we see any turnaround, whether it be via, via buying or whether it just be a correction. But we continue to push towards 3%. We'll get there. We're not going to get there today. We probably won't get there tomorrow, but we will get there soon. We are going to have some help uh, down the road, not only from the from the economic data, but also from, from the central banks. Uh, Likewise, volatility. Boy, we saw a nice big spike in volatility, a welcomed spike to the market, not only in treasuries, but also in equities and in other commodities. Something that the vol markets have been missing ever since the federal, the central banks all around the globe put their hands in the cookie jar and decided to try and fix everything. Uh, volatility went the way of the dodo. So right now, volatility is back, but it is leaving. It came for a very short visit and in treasury space. It's still elevated from what we'll call maybe last 2017's average. It's not what it was, and it looks to be trending lower. Likewise, we're seeing the same in equity. So it seems the market's getting normal again after a, after a bit of a flutter over the last several weeks. And that brings us to what do we have ahead? You know, what's going to cause the bond market or the 10-year notes to move over the next several weeks? And I think, one, we have a holiday weekend coming up. We have President's Day weekend. That always seems to bring a little bit of volatility, a little bit of excitement to the market on a Friday. Likewise, we have FOMC minutes next week uh, from the January meeting, the unheralded last meeting of Janet Yellen, when they really didn't have much to say. The statement came out and said, yes, they're going to be waiting, expecting inflation to, to be stronger. And we saw in the recent data that it is stronger. So that is something that's good, not necessarily bad. Uh, um, with the idea that inflation is going to explode due to all the stimulus that we've seen around the globe from all the central banks. However, it's doing what it's supposed to be doing, what the Fed said it would be doing. And I think that if we continue to see that kind of growth, it will only help the Fed uh, in its ability to raise rates down the road. Likewise, we do ha uh, we'll, we'll hear from new Fed Chair Jerome Powell, uh, not until the end of February, uh, when he speaks to Congress. That will be more of, I think, a macro picture of what is going on in the world, what his views might be. And then at the March FOMC, obviously not until March, uh, we'll get a more specific look at policy from him as far as inflation targets or, or how he views certain, certain things maybe differently than Janet Yellen did. And that'll be kind of where we separate uh, the Yellen administration from the new Powell administration of, of monetary policy. So right now, a couple of things on the calendar looking ahead, but 10-year note yields going to keep creeping higher, going to hit that 3%. We just maybe won't get there till next week, and it may take those FOMC minutes that are possibly more hawkish than the meeting to get us there. So continue to hold off and wait and see if we get to 3% before you're a buyer in 10-year, but certainly I think we are going to see a reversal once we do get there. This is Todd Colvin coming to you from the floor of the CME Group.